Hey everyone, my name is Jessie Jennings and welcome back to our 2023 Plaid New Product Showcase. All week we're talking about the brand new products we've launched this year and today, this afternoon, we'll be talking about our Let's Paint program. So those of you who know, we have a wonderful education program. It's all free called Let's Paint with Plaid. And this year we've launched several new programs within the Let's Paint program and we're super excited to talk to you about them. Just as a reminder, we're having a sale on our um, website this week. So if you go to www.pladonline.com slash new, you can receive 30% off of $7 or more. So it's a really great deal. Um, it's a great way to snag some of these new products we're talking about today. Um, and the first person we have in the studio today is a fan favorite. We have Andy Jones, and he's going to be talking about our um, art talk kit, as well as some of our brand new folk art mediums. So I'm going to pass it over to Andy now. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, it is an absolute pleasure to be here for the 2023 new product showcase. And I have three new products to show you, uh, all surrounding our new YouTube program called Art Talk with Andy, if you can imagine that. It is a series that's a little bit different than what Plaid normally does. It's a little bit more of an infotainment uh, kind of series. Uh, usually uh, Dylan Estes or Stephen White is uh, with me and we have a conversation about sometimes a very obvious topic and sometimes it's a little less obvious, but we talk about art techniques and pop culture, movies, music, uh, sometimes we play a game called Does Stephen Remember? And the answer is no, Stephen doesn't ever remember because <laughs> everything I talk about happened before Stephen was born. So it's like, has maybe Stephen ever heard of something? But You can't remember something you never knew, Andy. That's not <laughs> a fair game. Well, exactly, but it's still a, it's still a fun game. So uh, we do uh, all sorts of sight gags and great um, things that are edited into our program, but we still teach you how to paint. So I've brought a few things to show you. Uh, we can start over here with um, this little sunflower painting. And this particular painting was part of our road trip series. So Stephen and I took an imaginary road trip from California to Florida. And we made a pit stop in Kansas where we painted uh, sunflowers and talked about the Wizard of Oz and all sorts of great things. And Stephen was uh, actually painting right along with me so you could see someone who is not a painter actually doing the lesson in real time. So it's a lot of fun. And we've talked about um, great names in art history when we painted this very tiny uh, little landscape. We talked about uh, Turner and Constable in their art feud. And so uh, if you're interested in some really fun art history facts, um, this little landscape was a great uh, part of the series. And we've done great things like um, uh, fruits and vegetables. This is our Ring My Bell episode where we talked about how to paint a bell pepper and we use techniques to give you a really kind of a luminous uh, red object on a dark background. So we go into how to do different things like that. But we also have some fun um, and we did a big chicken and uh, here in the Atlanta area we actually have a Kentucky Fried Chicken location that is called The Big Chicken because it's got a 40 foot tall steel chicken on the top of it. <laughs> so using bold brushwork, we uh, talk about how to achieve kind of a rather uh, bold kind of graphic looking uh, painting. And this was our big chicken episode. We have done 18 episodes in the first season of Art Talk. And it's kind of amazing because we just, it seemed like we just started last week, but. I guess we had a soft launch at the end of December and really went full steam ahead in January. And uh, this little painting here was one of our uh, animals that we've done and this uh, little profile of a cat was a lot of fun. And Stephen gives his encyclopedic knowledge of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats musical. So that's uh, quite fun to hear that. <laughs> but we've also tackled um, a great, uh, masterpieces from the kind of fine art world and we did a takeoff on uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night, one of the most popular paintings ever. So we show you how you too can create great masterpieces all on your own. So just wanted to give you a little flavor of what Art Talk is like and because Plaid is 
known for making everything as easy for you as possible, I have come up with three different kits for the Art Talk series. The first kit is a kit of 17 colors, and I use the same set for all of the paintings in Art Talk. These are the paints that I use all the time. And this is what I would consider my basic palette of colors. So your first Art Talk kit is just these 17 gorgeous folk art colors. Now, kit number two, we give you the same 17 colors, but we also add a 10-piece uh, artist brush set for you. And these are kind of uh, basic brushes. They are beginner level uh, brushes. If you just are starting to dip your toe into painting and you're not sure that you want to make a big investment, we have that option for you. And the third kit is once again the 17 gorgeous folk art colors. And my favorite set of brushes is the seven piece folk art select firm bristle brush set. And these combined with the um, folk art colors gives you absolutely your best foot forward if you want to really take on uh, painting as a hobby. These are the brushes I use all the time, every time I paint. And I don't think you could go wrong with any of these Art Talk kits. So again, kit one, 17 colors of paint. Kit two, 17 colors of paint and a 10 piece brush set. Kit three, 17 colors of paint and a seven piece brush set. So those are the kits that go along with the Art Talk series, which you can find on YouTube. You can find it on the Plaid Crafts channel, or if you just type into your search bar uh, on uh, YouTube, Art Talk with Andy, you'll see the complete playlist of all 18 episodes. And we will be back with more episodes uh, later this summer, so uh, stay tuned for that. And stay tuned right now because I'm going to shift gears and we are going to talk about new folk art mediums. So we have a folk art crackle medium, we have a folk art tintable glaze medium, and we also have a folk art antiquing medium. So these are all three brand new products for 2023, and I think you're going to really, really enjoy using them. Many times you want to put a crackle finish over a design. Maybe it's a painting you've done, maybe it's something that you've decoupaged, or whatever it may be. And many of the crackle mediums have you put down a clear layer of crackle medium, and then you have to paint acrylic paint on top of it. Well, that's all well and good, except you cover up your design. So I'm going to show you a painting here, and we might want to go overhead so we can get a super close up of this. This is a painting that was done, and then we applied the folk art crackle medium to the painting, and then we've antiqued it to show off the crackle. So this is done on top of a painting, which gives it a very kind of old world vintage look. So I'm gonna set this painting aside and show you how this works. So I've got a couple of little uh, demonstration boards here. So we talk about using the folk art crackle and putting on a nice generous coat of crackle medium. So we are going to put a little crackle medium on this surface. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take a soft bristle brush and I'm going to brush this out. And I really want to show you what we mean by a generous coat of crackle medium. It's probably more than you would think to put on, uh, but if you put a really, really thin coat of crackle medium on, you're going to get this ultra fine uh, crackle pattern that really, um, sometimes it's just too fine and doesn't really show up. But I'll bring this up for a little bit better close up and you can see that there's a really generous amount of the crackle medium on the surface. And then you just need to let this dry. I like to say, let it dry overnight. And don't try to speed up the drying with a hair dryer or anything like that, because most times that's not um, going to help your crackle medium at all. But here is what it looks like when it's dry. Let's get that up there for a super close up. And you can see the crackle pattern here as I tilt this a little bit. Oh, wow, yeah, you can see it great, Andy. Well, um, okay, I'm glad to hear that, yep. Jesse, because sometimes your crackle pattern is a little fine and you may not be able to see it. 
but don't despair because <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use the folk art uh, antiquing medium and this is wooden bucket brown. We have and a couple questions real quick, Andy. Okay, fire away, Jesse. Um, Paula would like to know, will the crackle medium replace the Mod Podge crackle technique that Chris uses? It does not replace it. It's just a different uh, product, and this is the way we use that, just brushing the crackle medium right on top. So okay. kind of cuts out a little step, but doesn't replace anything. Okay, it's and then Susan asked, um, will you see the brush marks after it's dry? Uh, no, not really. You'll see the crackle pattern, but not okay. really the brush marks. Okay, great. All right. Thanks, Andy. S no problem. All right, so I've got another brush, and I'm going to brush on some of my antiquing medium. And you're not going to need much, but we are going to simply brush this and make sure to work it down into the little cracks. So just get in there and get with it. Don't worry about how dark this looks right now. We are not done. But you really do need, excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry, you really do need something to uh, really make this crackle pattern show up. And I've got a light background here, so I'm using uh, the wooden bucket brown antiquing medium to make it show up. One thing you can do with this that's really, really attractive is if you've got like a black background or a very dark surface, you can add some treasure gold to mm. our tintable glazing medium, which is our other new um, product. And you can brush the treasure gold glaze on, rub it off, and then you've got beautiful gold down in the cracks. I love that idea. Well, it's, it's a really, really great looking uh, effect. So I have a damp paper towel here, and I'm simply going to br brush this or wipe this. Everything I do is brushing, whether I'm using a brush or not but I'm simply removing the excess antiquing from the top surface of my piece. And if I turn it over, I can clean off even more. And then I'll take a dry cloth and just give it a quick bufferoo here. And you can see that you get a really beautiful crackle effect. Yeah, that looks great. And this you can put over, like I said, a painting or over any design or anywhere you just really want that kind of old uh, crackle finish. And this is a great kind of one-step uh, crackle product to use. And I think this is probably one of my favorite new products that Plaid has come out with this year. This week you're seeing all sorts of great and innovative products and this just happens to be a, a classic. You just cannot go wrong with that. So we used the Folk Art or Crackle Medium. I'll show you that label up close. So the Folk Art Fine Crackle Medium. And then we antiqued this with our Folk Art Antiquing Medium. There we go, get that in focus. And if you want to use a color that's not necessarily a dark brown, you can add any Folk Art acrylic to the tintable glazing medium and use that uh, instead. It's I love that we have both where it's really easy since you know brown and antiquing is sort of the most commonly used Absolutely. medium. It's a, you just can't go wrong with that kind right. of. Right. Uh, you got that ready for you but if you wanted to do kind of a crazy color like gold or something funky or you can mix your own. If you're doing something like uh, you've done a painting and you want to put the crackle on you could if it's uh, pre predominantly blue you mm -hmm. could use a, a dark blue color in uh, your tintable glaze medium to make a blue crackle. I love so that. any Anything you can think of, you can do, and Plaid has the products to make it easy for you. Awesome. So that is a little bit about the uh, YouTube program called Art Talk with Andy and some information about three new folk art mediums. So I'm going to send this back over to Jesse, who is going to let you know all about another YouTube series. Yes, exactly. Thanks so much, Andy. Um, that was really great. We loved hearing about Art Talk and, of course, seeing that great demonstration for our brand new folk art mediums. Um, we're going to switch over there for a little bit. We'll have Chris Williams coming on next. But in the meantime, I have some reminders for you in case you're just joining us. We have a sale going on on platonline.com right now where if you spend $70 or more on our new product, you get 30% off. So a really great way to snatch up some of these great products we're talking about all week long in our 2023 new product showcase. Make sure to check that out. I also forgot to mention in the beginning of this particular session that each session this week we are doing a giveaway. So make sure to participate in the comments. We've got tons of great comments right now on questions. Um, but make sure to ask your questions now. We'd love to answer them live. We'd 
We'd love to hear from you whether you've used any of these new kits or products. Um, and at the end of the session, we're going to pick a winner from the comments who will receive a bundle of our brand new products that we're discussing this week. So make sure to um, participate in the chat so you can be selected to win one of those bundles. Um, so now really quick, I'm going to talk to you about my new series in the Let's Paint program, which I'm super excited for. And that is our art journaling series. So art journaling is a super, super popular trend right now. Um, I see it all over TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest. It's really just everywhere. And art journaling is all about um, relaxing. It's kind of art therapy. It's about spending time just kind of getting your feelings out um, and you know, turning your mind off and just making something for yourself. So <clears throat> we've created this great kit and series um, called Art Journaling with Plaid and it's under our Let's Paint program. So each session in our art journaling series on YouTube, like Andy mentioned, I will be walking you through an art journaling technique. So um, we've got one here, we've got a word cloud using our folk art paints and some specialties. Um, this is one of our episodes, another episode that's all about Mod Podge and using some ephemera and paper crafting to make a collage that's special to you. Um, we've got a session all about florals and how to collage and use pressed flowers with your Mod Podge and things like that. Um, I try really hard to give you tips and tricks so you can make your art journal special to you. Um, you can do each of these pages in any art journal, in any art journal you have, or just on paper. It doesn't have to be a journal. You can follow along with any of these sessions, just with whatever supplies you have at home. Um, we also do some really fun creative exercises. We did this one, it's kind of like um, a doodle game. Um, and then just some more collaging, some more um, tips and tricks and techniques. I show you how to do a wash, how to create a background, how to lay out your design. Um, here's a collage of some things that are special to me, so I really encourage you guys to use subject matter that's special to you for your own art journals. Um, but like I said, we have put together a kit for you. So it's really easy to follow along. Um, just like a lot of our Let's Paint series, we wanna make sure you have everything you need at home to craft along with us um, in our new videos. The videos, of course, are free on YouTube and you can purchase this kit so you can craft along with me for each session. Um, so in this kit, you get 12 of our Folk Art Matte Acrylic Colors. So a really beautiful, um, bold color palette to use. And again, these are all the um, colors that I'll be using in my sessions too. So I encourage you to pick and choose what you like for your own journal, but you can absolutely craft along with me. In the kit, you also receive a full eight ounce bottle of Mod Podge Matte. So this will get you through many, many, many art journaling pages. This is absolutely more than you need to follow along. Um, but this is a really great product and we do so many different techniques using this bottle of Mod Podge Matte in the art journaling series. You also get our 10 piece variety brush set. So any brush you could possibly need comes in the kit. And then I also added this two in one decoupaging tool. So there's a lot of really great techniques we can do with this as well. Not just Mod Podge, but paint squeegeeing and things like that. So we use this tool a lot in the, um, our, mod, or our art journaling session, so make sure to check that out. But again, art journaling is all about just relaxing, having some time for yourself. Um, it really is supposed to be very expressive um, and no pressure at all. So make sure to check out our free series on YouTube, Art Journaling with Plaid. Um, check out the kit right now on plaidonline.com slash new um, and take part in that sale. And we'd love to see you in that series. So now that we've talked a little bit about Art Talk and our new mediums and our Art Journaling with Plaid series, I'm gonna pass it over to Chris Williams, who's gonna tell us a little bit about Donna Dewberry and the One Stroke program and some new fun things we have for you this year. Over to you, Chris. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of our Plaid's new product showcase. As Jesse said, I'm Chris Williams. I'm a member here at Plaid in our content team, and we are all creating fun and wonderful lessons for you each and every day. I am uh, also honored to be one of the admins, uh, along with Andy Jones, for our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group. So first, I'd like to invite you all. If you're not yet a member, I know you're here on Plaid Crafts Facebook page, but if you're not yet a member of our group, you want to learn how to paint, maybe you're just a little bit timid and shy and uh, never held a paintbrush before in your hand, or you're nervous to hold that paintbrush in your hand, please find our group, Let's Paint with Plaid. It's a Facebook group that is a wonderful, warm, caring, learn to paint community. We consider everybody family there. Andy and I teach there on Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon Eastern Standard Time. We always have free lessons for you. 
and there's just a lot going on, lots of exchange activities, and we just have a great time. So please look up our group and join us. The second thing I want to talk about is our good friend Donna Dewberry. Donna Dewberry has been a member here of the Plaid family, gosh, for over 20 years now, maybe probably more like 25, 26 years. I've been along with her 17 years of those time, the time that she's been here with us at Plaid. We, together as partners, Don and I have been creating all kinds of learn to paint programs for you with the focus being on the folk art one stroke. If you're not familiar with Donna Dewberry, I'll share with you that she is the original creator of the method of decorative painting that we refer to as folk art one stroke. You may remember in recent years here under the Let's Paint umbrella, we had flowers of the month, and then we had wreaths of the month, then we had hometown, we had birds and blossoms. Well, this year, we have outdone it for you again. <laughs> Made it simple also with the kit. Our program this year is all about learning how to paint 50 gorgeous flowers. The name of the kit is A to Z One Stroke Floral Painting. Donna Dewberry is, like I said, the original creator of the Folk Art One Stroke Method, and you might be saying, well, what is that? This is where Donna teaches you how to properly load your paintbrush with one color, sometimes two colors, sometimes multiple colors. You're learning how with that one loaded brush and stroking out in a certain technique, how to blend, shade, and highlight all with one stroke of the brush. And this year, our 50 florals kit is really super fun because, and again, you might be thinking at home, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to hold a paintbrush in my hand. Well, if you watch our videos, Donna will take you step by step by step how to paint all of these 50 flowers that are in this kit. The A to Z One Stroke Floral Painting Kit comes in a box just like you see here. This is a raw, unfinished box. And when, once you learn how to paint some of those 50 flowers, you can decorate your box. And I brought some with me today I'll share with you in just a moment. But let's go over the contents of the kit first. So you're going to get this beautiful hinged uh, with a little clasp here, a little brass clasp, clasp, a beautiful box. And you might be thinking, well, what's inside the box? Well, let me share with you. Inside the box is our header card here. And on the back side of that, you're going to see all of these supplies that are part of the kit. Inside each of the little bottom compartments here, you're going to get what we call reusable teaching guides, or RTGs. Reusable teaching guides are actually Donna's paintings on the front here gives you a little inspiration of what you're going to learn. When you flip this over to the back side, you're going to see step by step by step what brush sizes to use, what colors to put on your brush, how to blend them out, how to paint each of the components for each flower. You're going to practice right on these coated sheets. They are coated so that once you load your brush, and you have paint on your brush, you can practice your brush strokes directly on this reusable teaching guide. While the paint is still wet, you simply take a damp paper towel and you wipe off, or you can use a baby cloth, uh, a baby wipe, and you can wipe off and practice again. Donna's technique is learning how to practice the strokes. She gives them to you here on every single reusable teaching guide. Almost when you think about cooking, you use a recipe to cook. Well, these are the recipes to learn how to one stroke paint. This is a coated card. You can reuse this over and over and over again. And it's great that you have your nice little storage box that once you're done learning how to paint the hydrangea and you've wiped clean your, your uh, backside here, then you take that learned stroke. It's kind of like a muscle memory. You're learning that the direction of the stroke, how that brush is properly loaded, and you're painting, practicing on the reusable teaching guide, then you take it to your canvas or to your wooden box or to your plaque. And you're going to then mimic those exact same strokes, same brush loads of color, and you're going to learn how to paint each and every single one of the 50 flowers that are here part of our kit. Um, also, in that kit, you're going to receive 10 bottles, and these are all the 10 colors that Donna uses for all 50 different flowers that you're going to learn how to paint. The 10 colors of paint, the paint formula is actually the Folk Art Multi-Surface Formula, which is Donna's favorite paint to use. And the Multi-Surface Formula, if you're not familiar with it, it is a formula that is 
um, all purpose, all surface. It goes on wood, on tin, on tile, on terracotta, on paper, on canvas, on glass, on fabric, so many different surfaces. One paint for all surfaces. So you're going to receive 10 colors and you're also going to receive a bottle of floating medium that Donna absolutely loves. Floating medium does not speed up the drying time, it does not slow down the drying time, but what it does is it gives you an opportunity to make your paint colors a little more transparent. Sometimes you want to float or wash a color on or around the design of a flower. So a floating medium will help the paint just kind of glide over the surface. This kit also gives you five different fabulous brushes. And these brushes are all designed by Donna Dewberry and they are all the same brushes that are used on these reusable teaching guides within the kit and it's all the same size brushes that allows you to paint all of the flowers again using Donna's brush strokes as a guide. You're going to receive a three quarter inch flat brush, another flat brush that's a number 12 flat, you're going to receive a half inch scruffy brush. This is a brush that's used to pounce color onto a surface and you can pounce on greenery, you can pounce on wisteria, the centers of flowers. So the scruffy brush is used for that technique. There's an angle brush and it's a 5 8 inch angle and then there is also a number two script liner for all your detail work. So if you want to add some little curlicues to the sides, if you want to add the tiny little dots for flower centers, you'll use your script liner for that. So this kit is fabulous and that you're going to learn how to paint 50 flowers. But you know what? You don't have to use just what I explained right now. It's not only just the reusable teaching guide. We've made it so wonderful for you. For if you're sitting at home at your kitchen table and you've got your kit in hand and you think, oh, take a deep breath. Where am I going to start? Well, if you go to Plaid Crafts YouTube channel, you're going to find in our playlist the 50 florals all listed there. They're all about 15, 20 minutes long and Donna's going to take you step by step by step how to use the reusable teaching guide, how to load your brush, how to practice your strokes directly on top of Donna's and then she will actually paint it out on a little board for you. So you're going to learn step by step by watching the teacher. It, I always say it's like having Donna, the, the kits are like having Donna in a box and Donna's right there at the kitchen table with you. So I think you're really going to enjoy this kit and you're going to learn how to paint everything from asters all the way to yarrow. There's 50 different flowers in this kit and I brought along with me a couple examples. You might learn how to paint tulips. Isn't this a beautiful plaque? Mm -hmm, I love you, that one. You like that one, Jesse? Mm -hmm. The colors are so bright and spring-like. Yeah. You might also learn how to paint this beautiful box lid. This is uh, the Peace Rose, um, and so that's another fun flower. Donna is so well known for her cabbage roses. Everyone wants to learn how to paint a cabbage rose in the folk art one stroke style or method. And Donna's sharing with you that using the multi-surface paints, you can actually paint that on glass. And once it's baked and cured to the glass, it is then top shelf dishwasher safe. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things you can do with this kit. And I mentioned that you can even decorate the box itself that your um, RTGs will come in. So I brought with me a couple that Donna painted for us and I'd love to share these too. Donna took the actual um, symbol or the diagram of our 50 florals. Oops, oh, overhead, you want to go overhead? Sure. I can do it overhead and you can see it much, much closer there. There's a good close up for you. And Donna has Perfect. a sampling on this box lid of so many different flowers. You're going to see a tiger lily and wild roses and a poppy and a sunflower and iris and uh, let's see what else is in here, hollyhocks and bluebells and one more. This is um, on this one here. Uh, what is this one? Larkspur. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, sorry, Chris, I don't know. You're the flower expert. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh, and <laughs> asters right here in the middle too. So this is a good sampling of several different flowers and how fun that is. She painted the sides the light green and of course you can flip yours open and paint the interior of your box as well. This one is a real fun one with the Larkspur, a little bit more modern take where we've kind of color blocked 
the box not completely half, but maybe three quarters um, with one background color, and then just a solid white here, and the lark spur is kind of spewing over across the box lid. Isn't that a fun way to trim? This is, of course, just using one floral that you're going to learn. And then also, here's another one. This one shows us our magnolias and some yarrow and some daisies and some asters. It's a, another floral combination mm -hmm. that you can learn. This is a kit that I think will take you through so many different um, projects. Think about the gift giving season. Think about painting greeting cards for everyone. Think about Christmas time. Uh, this is a kit that is just going to take you like I said, from A to Z. I think you're going to enjoy painting along with Donna, watching those videos, practicing on those reusable teaching guides, using the folk art multi-surface paints and the five brushes that come in the kit. What more could you ask for? I, I think we could ask for Donna to come to our kitchen yeah. table and sit there with us, but I think <laughs> you only. got her when you watch those videos, right? Agreed, absolutely. Yeah, so um, I, I think that's a great great kit that you're going to learn and so many people tell us they're so scared to learn how to paint but this is a great way because you've got all the answers all the help right there with you and remember jesse's going to tell us all about that sale on plat online again because you yeah. can pick this up now for just next to nothing <laughs> yeah i'm glad you said that chris we have some people in the comments everybody is super excited about this donna kit oh, we have some people saying that um, they need donna's help and that they're not good with flowers so this really <laughs> is the perfect kit for you guys um, and really quick before we switch out, can yes. we get a close up of the brushes overhead, Chris? Yes, people are really sure interested will. Be glad in Donna's to. brushes. Uh -huh. Let me move love this to see aside that. here. They really are beautiful brushes. The be brushes are beautiful. They're all designed directly by Donna. I'm going to try and turn them so I can get all of them here with the label showing. There we go. And let me bring it up. Or maybe I need to put something behind. There you go. Perfect. Is that? Is that going to help us a little yeah, bit? Yeah, that's great. Okay. So the brushes, there's the three quarter inch flat brush. There's a number 12 flat brush. There's a half inch scruffy. There's a five eighths inch angle brush. And the one that I can't put down, <laughs> <laughs> this one, last little soldier here, is the number two script liner. So these are the brushes, like I said, all designed by Donna. They feel wonderful in your hands. The grip is great. They're a little bit bigger around the base of the wood handle itself is a little bit wider a little bit deeper but it feels fabulous in your hand they're mm -hmm. not heavy they're lightweight the bristles themselves are beautiful they have a beautiful what we call spring and snap so that when they are wet they will and you're using pressure and they're fanning out when you release that pressure they spring back beautifully they hold a chisel edge if you need to do any long blade strokes like here on the tulip uh, leaf. These are great brushes and we do not sell them separately. They are part of this kit, but you know what? I think you're gonna want the whole kit because you're gonna wanna yep. learn how to paint 50 different kinds of one stroke flowers. Definitely, definitely. Any other questions, Jesse? I think that's it. People are just super excited to, to check it out. So they're saying what a great kit this is and that they absolutely need it, so. Oh, that's great. And while you're on Plaid's website and you're looking at the Donna Dubray kits, like I said, we have some other kits that we've come out in previous years. Look up the Flower of the Month kit. That is 12 different flowers and it is the birth flower of the month. Look up the wreath of the month kit. We did 12 different lessons. We created gorgeous floral designs and painted wreaths that you could hang on your front doors. We painted a series called Hometown. That was when COVID just started here um, in the uh, world. I started saying the United States, but it was a world of pandemic. And people were stationed at home and secured in their homes and they didn't know what to do with themselves. Well, we painted our hometowns. We painted the church and the farm and the doors and the windows and just all kinds of fun things. So look up that kit. There's florals included in all of those. Um, then last year we did something different. Along with the florals, we included birds and blossoms. So there's birds um, of the goldfinch and an owl and a blue jay and a blue bird. So many fun different flowers that you, or birds and flowers that you're gonna learn in the birds and blossoms kit. And now to this year, you can't go wrong with the A to Z one stroke floral painting by Donna Dewberry.
Awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. All right. Um, that was such a lovely description of Donna's kit. So don't forget, you guys, um, all the kits we've talked about today, now is the perfect time to go ahead and purchase those because we are having a sale on platonline.com slash new where we have a sale on all of our new products that we're discussing this week, including all of these kits today. So if you purchase $70 or more, you get 30% off. So that is such a great discount on these kits. So make sure to go check it out, whether it's the Art Talk kit with Andy, or it's the Art Journaling kit with me, or it's the A to Z Florals with Donna. Um, now is a really great time to go check those kits out on platonline.com slash new. Um, so make sure to stick around. We're not done yet with our Let's Paint session. Um, I'm going to tell you about this rotational organizer, but then after that we have a really fun sneak peek that you guys may not see on the schedule. So make sure to stick around, especially all of you Let's Paint lovers, everybody from the Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group. You're really going to want to hear this um, fun announcement that we have at the end of this session. So really quick while they're setting up for that fun announcement. I want to show you our rotational organizer. So this is another really fantastic product and this is a plaid product. So as you can see here, it holds so many bottles of paint. You could purchase this on plaidonline.com just like the rest of our products. Um, and it's perfect for your tabletop. So you can put it on your tabletop, you can spin all of your paints around, you can see it holds any of our two ounce bottles, whether it's specialty glitters, our new sugar metallics, multi-surface, our regular folk art matte, um, apple barrel, it can hold any of those paints. So make sure to check this out. And not only does it mount to your table, but you can also mount it to the wall, which I think is so fun. If you have a smaller workspace at home um, and you don't have room on your tabletop for this organizer, it can mount on the wall next to you. Um, and so you can pull your paints out that way. It's a really, really excellent um, tool to have in your paint studio. So again, while you're on platonline.com checking out that sale, make sure to take a peek at our rotational organizer as well. Um, before we finish up and before we choose a winner, I'm going to pass it back over to Chris Williams and she is going to give you a sneak peek of something really fun that we have coming up um, in our Let's Paint program. Over to you, Chris. All right. Thank you, Jesse. And you know, Jesse is so right. That rotational paint organizer is fabulous. And as she said, you can wall mount it, you can table mount it. Jesse, in our Let's Paint group, when Andy and I have promoted it there several times, We've had so many people tell us that they bought more than one because oh. one was for their multi-surface paints and one was for their matte or maybe it was for their specialty paints and then for their matte paints. I love that. So, yeah. So I think you can always take advantage, especially when there's a great sale to get more mm -hmm. than one. So Jesse's right. I am thrilled to hang around here and be part of our new product showcase to give you a little sneak peek. We all love sneak peeks, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So these are some paintings I'm going to share with you that I have painted. They are hot off the easel. <laughs> We're going to film educational lessons on them next week with Dylan and Caitlin and Stephen here at Plaid Crafts. And these educational lessons are all about painting for the seasons. And so I'm going to share with you the four projects that I have painted. And after we finish filming them next week, they are going to be available for sale. This will be the first time we're doing something new and different here at Plaid Crafts and also in the Let's Paint community. We are going to film a series of four different lessons. They will be recorded and you will be able to purchase that recording. So this is something new and different and I think you're gonna enjoy painting along and painting these seasons. Uh, the concept here is that every single lesson, as I paint them and teach them, will all be on a 12 by 12 canvas. So we all know we decorate our homes for the seasons. Some of you I saw through our Facebook group already have started putting your pumpkins up for the fall season. Uh, you, you, then you change it out and you decorate for the winter holidays and I see people decorating for Valentine's. So we all know that we decorate in our homes for the seasons. So now I'm going to teach you how to paint a special painting for each season. You only will need one frame because you can swap out. You're not making a gallery wall of all these seasons. You're going to swap out your artwork and you'll have a special place, whether it's on a table easel, um, maybe it's on the entry table near your front door where you want to welcome your guests. Maybe it's a special wall in your kitchen. You'll find a special place to create that seasonal decoration. And so I think it might be a good idea to go overhead so you can see up close. This is a painting on a 12 by 12 canvas that I painted 
um, using folk art multi-surface paints and this will represent the fall season. You can see this is a combination of a wood grained like fence type background. We've got kind of a enameled pot here with a, a wood grained handle, some different um, pumpkins. Typically you don't see pumpkins in golds and cream colors, but we have it here. And then I've got roses. For those of you that want to learn how to paint a rose, this is just one style of many different ways to paint a rose. But we will do some cream colored roses. We'll do some pink roses. We'll bring some accents from our um, little pot here over onto the, the flowers themselves. And then of course some little bits of greenery to kind of fill in. So I'll bring this up real close so you can kind of see the design itself. And so, like I said, this will be a class that we will teach on a recording, and then we will be selling the recording of all four lessons for one price. So this will be fall. Then so many people love that vintage look of Halloween. Mm -hmm. So this lesson right here is going to be all about painting a jack-o'-lanterns in a variety of different colors. We've got some fun ombre techniques that we're going to share on the lettering here, both saying Happy Halloween as well as the three and the one. Let me bring it up for a close-up. We're going to do a fun vintage style background with black and polka dots. We're going to finish the whole thing off with some fly specking. That might be a new painting technique for some of you, so I'm not going to share too much about that now. We'll make sure that there's something to share in the lesson. And then we have a little fun uh, kind of whitewashed checkerboard at the bottom too. So this will be our October lesson or perfect timing for Halloween. And for our Thanksgiving month, we might want to paint a pair of pilgrims. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas with Mr. and Mrs. Pilgrim and a great big pumpkin there in the middle. She's so sweet. She's got a basket of little daisies in her hand. And we finish it off with the word gather here between them. And I'm going to teach you how to do the lettering. And then we're also going to do some ombre work on the lettering and a little bit of a cast shadow that I'm going to share with you. So this will be our lesson for November. And then we have one more, which will be our lesson for the Christmas time period. And we've got Santa and, Re and Rudolph. And it says Santa Claus is coming to town. So we're going to do this with the vintage style penny rug uh, corners. We've got some jazz on uh, Rudolph's nose. That jazz on his nose is a little bit of folk art glitterific. And so Rudolph is just dazzling there with his red nose. We've got lots of brush stroke work on his beard to kind of give you a different kind of beard. The eyes painted on Rudolph are completely a different technique than the eyes that we're going to paint on Santa. And this will be our Christmas design. So this is a sampling of all four of the lessons that you're going to learn here for our seasonal program. And again, we're going to film the lessons next week. We will have a uh, way to order this lesson through our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group. Um, for those of you that are members now, you know all about ordering an educational class with Andy Jones and myself through our master class program. We're going to do the same exact type of sign up. So if you're interested in more information as it becomes available, look for it on the Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group. We'll put it up in the featured section at the top. There'll be links to register for the classes. Once the four videos are ready, you will get that four, all four videos at one time. You'll receive the patterns. You're going to receive the supply list. You're going to receive um, a photograph of each of the projects and, of course, the four videos. And if you are interested, there will also be a soft paint bundle so that you can buy the paints that go along with all four of these projects as well. Any questions, Jesse? Chris, people are so excited for this series. Oh, we don't have any questions, but they are absolutely loving the designs. They cannot wait to check out um, all of the paintings that you have here. So um, again, guys, this is really early. Chris is uh, filming these classes next week. So this really is a sneak peek. So make Very, sure to, to yeah. keep an eye out. But Chris, they're super excited. Rudolph is so cute, 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 cute. Oh, Can't Rudolph, wait. Yeah. There um, he is. So awesome. Well, thank you so much, Chris. Um, well, that thank was, you. Thank you for allowing me to be part of the new product showcase. I look forward to 
seeing everyone join our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group, become a member, join our community, say hello when you jo join in. Andy and I are there to help hold your hand and lead you through the process of learning how to paint. Join us on Tuesday, well not this week, but to, normally every Tuesday and Thursday at noon Eastern Standard Time, there's a free lesson. So join us there. You can chat with us during the lesson and either Andy's teaching and I'm moderating or I'm teaching and Andy's moderating and we would love to see you there. Join our group. You're going to have a great, great time. And thank you. I hope, thank you for the response on these. Like I said, they're just fresh off the easel and uh, we're going to be filming next week. So I can't wait to share all of that program with you. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. All right. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, guys. Um, so we hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fun new Let's Paint um, kits and bundles that we have created for you this year in 2023. Again, we talked about Andy's Art Talk kit, some of our brand new folk art mediums, um, our art journaling kit, which is also brand new. Make sure to check out that series on YouTube as well. And then Chris talked to us about Donna Dewberry's new kit, A to Z Florals, as well as a sneak peek of her new painting classes that will be coming up. So again, make sure to keep an eye on the Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group to see um, when those sessions are available. Um, we are here all week long, don't forget, every day at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. We're not even halfway through. We still have so many more products to share with you. We still are going to talk about more folk art tomorrow. We've got Drizzle, Mod Podge, Bustilla Soft Crafts. Um, Apple Barrel, we have a ton, a ton more to talk about that we've launched this year. So make sure to stick around all week because each session we are picking a winner to win a bundle of our new product. And the winner for today's session is Diane Ricker. So congratulations, oh! Diane. <laughs> um, make sure to send us a direct message so we can get your um, information and get um, some brand new product in the mail for you to try. Congratulations, uh, Diane. Yeah, congratulations. Um, so we will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. to talk about some of our brand new colors in folk art. And we'll see you then. Bye, guys.